Karen Brady has urged Rishi Sunak to rethink the government's decision about delaying guidance for schools on how to deal with transgender pupils. The Prime Minister previously promised guidance would be released before the summer holidays, however, it is now on hold indefinitely after legal advice suggested part of the proposed guidelines could be unlawful. Karen, 54, believes the decision could in fact cause more confusion for children who no longer identify as their gender at birth. The delay, she adds, will also not help teachers or parents on how to deal with the situation. In her latest column with The Sun, Karen acknowledged how some had already lost their jobs after getting pronouns wrong and causing offense. Read more. BBC Breakfast's Naga Manchetti praised as she shares update from hospital bed in this minefield of political correctness, teachers need a route map now, she wrote. She went on to say, of course parents should be involved in that conversation, just as they would be involved in any discussion of the life, welfare and well-being of their under-18 child. It's absolutely bar me this is even a debate. And yet, everyone is tiptoeing around desperately worried about saying or doing the wrong thing. The Apprentice star compared the change to her hike and days at school, when teachers addressed pupils as boys and girls. Don't miss! Why strictly pro Brendan Cole backs Angela Rippon, 78, to win, opinion, Dolph Lundgren details the moment he almost punched Sylvester Stallone, revealed, Chloe Madeley says husband James Haskell is furious she won't take his name, admission, she added, could we ever have believed this phrase would be branded misogynistic, transphobic, chauvinistic, and a whole host of other offenses too. Karen said the change is a truly mad situation for teachers who are being pressured to accept children identifying as anything from cats to moons. Moving forward, the businesswoman urges the government to hurry and work out what to do next. She suggests, amending guidance in line with existing law or trying to change the law, although admits it will be very tricky. The discussion over guidance has certainly provoked mixed views, with many calling for a complete ban on transitioning in schools. Such a move however is unrealistic in Karen's opinion, as she added, we have to try to do the caring thing for all children and not demonize anyone, wherever they stand on such a sensitive issue. But most importantly, she concluded, parents must be part of any conversation around their child. Education Secretary Gillian Keegan is yet to give a deadline on when guidance will be published. i